Here we got one of these little uh, shaded pole motors used from in microwaves, certain little fans. And uh, I'm just actually thinking if we can use this for current sensing as well. I've used successfully called some old solenoids uh, for sensing current in a circuit. So I'm going to wrap a couple of turns of uh, 2.5 around here and then put a test load on it and uh, see if it actually works. I'm going to put some uh, turns around here and that's going to be my sensing wire and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to plug it in. I hooked up an LED to the wires from the motor winding and uh, see if it works. Yeah. This is better. I got it now in a bit of shaded. It's just a white LED, nothing fancy. It's quite a handy on-off indication in a series just to monitor like a heater or like an outside light in uh, which I've been doing for many years and I'll show the indicators. I mean pretty bright sunlight, I had to cover it up a bit otherwise the camera doesn't see it. Indicator light works really well. It's about a one kilowatt load on there. So the principle of uh, converting one of these little induction motors for current sensing is uh, quite easy to do actually. And I'll uh, do a schematic for it, how to wire it up. And then it, uh, when it's all connected it should be put in a nice enclosure. And you have a simple uh, current sensing device really. Um, so what I've done here you got a little uh, induction motor that come out of microwaves. I put six turns of 2.5 mil, so I can put like 15 amperes through here with no problem. And then the output that's the blue and the brown wire, they come out. It's a temporary setup at the moment. So just have a look here, stand by. Here the brown and the blue wire, they're coming out of that uh, coal, the winding from that uh, little induction motor, the 240 volt winding. Soldered those to an uh, little bridge rectifier here to a red LED. You could also use two LEDs anti-parallel um, to uh, yeah, protect the LED basically for reverse polarity. And uh, yeah, overall I'm quite pleased, it works quite uh, well. So what I've done here, this is uh, the extension lead, that's just the, temp the power supply. Brown wire goes out, red wire, couple of turns, six turns in the coal comes out goes to the temporary uh, socket it's on screen yeah and as soon as the load is switched on like a heater or a lamp or whatever it creates flux in this uh, coil here you can feel magnetism in here too um, I get on the other winding I get a couple of volts switches enough to light an LED quite simple so it's a current sensing device to give you a visual indication if a light is on a machine is on or at least it's drawing power so if a heating element has gone open circuit you don't know if it's actually heating or not and in this particular case it proves the fact. And this is the overall shot of the current sensing device. Here we go. Made this a bit uh, clearer, this is uh, another one I've wound quickly. So instead of doing a diagram, very simple, the brown wire active goes connector I put about uh, 9 to 10 turns on the call, return out of the call to the brown wire which goes to the load, which is uh, on the plug here. The neutral doesn't touch the circuit at all, so that's the light blue wire which goes back to the other connector up uh, here. So it's uh, a very simple circuit for detecting if a load or an appliance is doing power. I've got a heater on it now, but if you have a light allowed like a lamp, a 100 watt lamp or whatever, you may have to put like 20 turns on the coal, thinner gauge wire, 1 mil or something like that. Um, this particular gauge is 1.5. So uh, yeah, you may even get, if you're lucky, you may even get that the uh, armature rotates if there's enough flux in there. But um, yeah, it's a simple circuit and it, uh, it's quite handy for indicating if uh, an appliance is using uh, power. Nothing special uh, about the LED, that's the AC from that call, a little small bridge rectifier, you can get out of an old TV set or anything and then just the LED, or you could put in two LEDs anti-parallel. 
these little uh, motors are more or less freely available on the side of the road. So this is the 220 volt call or 120 volts, it depends what side of the world you live. And uh, just apply, say, 8, 10, 12 turns around it for your sensing wire, and it does the job. So this uh, little induction motor or shaded pole motor is X microwave oven, which is uh, usually freely available off the side on the road. Plenty of those around. De-energize load, LED off. Cheers, Rodolco 2007.